Well, good morning, everybody. Oh, man, I need to shave. That's a griddle. This is a gritty. Uh, I hate myself for doing that. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Matt Scharf. Thanks for tuning in to this new series that I'm doing. It's called the Breakthrough Series. It's kind of like a back rehab, kind of in a way, where I'm kind of like talking through the lots of different things that I'm doing with my back, when it hurts, um, what to avoid, when it feels decent, what you should be doing, um, and there's me. Um, so that's kind of what it is. I'm playing lots of golf and I'm also trying to break through scoring potential as well. So I'm trying to break down to consistently trying to shoot, you know, even par or one over or two over or whatever that may be. So that's kind of the goal um, through this series. So hopefully all the people that are new here that are tuning in, thank you for coming in, subscribe on the road to 300,000 subscribers and we're getting pretty close. So shout out to all of you guys, love you guys. Um, yeah, let's get right into this. Hopefully, most of you have probably seen some of the good, good videos by now. I just chipped in again uh, with my 62 degree wedge. Love that thing, that thing, clean with it. It was a dunk, full on dunk. You know what I mean? In the weeds, and I dunked it in the back of the hole. It was really, really freaking cool. But yeah, I'm gonna go back out to Gentle Creek today. We're gonna see what we can shoot. I'm just gonna probably play normal golf. I'm coming off of the Pebble Beach Major, which I can't talk to you about yet because it hasn't been released. Um, Definitely some things I need to work on. So I think in this one, I think I saw kind of a cool idea where uh, when you get around the greens, play two balls, or I could just play with two balls off the tee. Um, but like I hit my tee shot down the fairway, you know, I hit my second shot if it's close, if it's like within a hundred yards, hit like a second shot and see if I can like fix my mistake kind of thing, you know? See if, all right, I'm 110 yards out. I hit a 54 degree and it landed by the pin, but it spun off the green. For the next one, I'll hit like a lower 50 degree and see if that one doesn't spin as much. That sort of thing. So maybe that's what we'll do, or maybe we'll just play two balls off the tee. Give me some ideas as to what you want me to do on the breakthrough series, but obviously it's more just kind of like regular golf. We're waiting for, that was supposed to be Maddie's cue. Maddie's cue to come down. She can have her own mic. She likes being a part of this stuff. So we'll see her in a second. Why'd you put this on my nightstand? You want me to be a part of this video now? Before you wanted both mics, only you wanted to talk, and you're like, hmm, maybe people do want to see my wife. You know what, I don't need this. This petty gift. But I'll take it. Because I deserve to be heard. You. Yeah. That ASMR, do you enjoy it? Dude, don't we have to go? Yeah. Okay, well, I have to eat first. No. Yep. With this breakthrough series that Matt's doing, um, to keep it interesting, to keep it competitive with himself, he is doing six holes, and in those six holes, he has to shoot par or under par. If we are at six holes and he is over par, the video is done. So that way it stays competitive. Um, it keeps you, I mean, right now your goal is to break par, right? Yeah, shoot well, shoot par or better is the goal. Right, but like shoot par consistently. Yes. So that's what we're gonna be working towards. Um, and then if I, see the goal I is- I say we, but I'm not doing nothing. Well, you're helping. The goal is obviously if I don't shoot par, and obviously the goal is I wanna be playing more golf. So if I shoot over par- Like he doesn't play enough golf already. Then, ah. then, I have, then I have to go like practice and I gotta go work on, okay, what was my, why did I shoot over par? Well, it was because my iron shot. So then I go to the range and work on that or it was my short game or you know, whatever. So then I have to go to that specific spot and then go practice for a bit. That's kind of like the goal. I'm not gonna toot my fiance's horn, but out of the top five best golf shots I've seen on YouTube, he owns about four of those. So, and what else did you want me to say? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Kidding, not. You might see a couple drives from me because I might get bored and want to hit something. So mm. we'll see. But the tea time is in two minutes and we are just now pulling in. Let's go to the tea box. He is currently warming up. Um, luckily, our tea time actually is a little later. So I said, Matt, go work on the putts because the putts need some work. Well, everyone can always work on their putts. Mm -hmm. Whoever's watching this, your putts need work. You go home and go practice your putts because I promise you, they probably suck. Here's the new ball. 
playing with the triple track blue line today. This thing is an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful. We got more boxes. So I was able to, I was able to grab a couple of those. So, cause for the Pebble Beach, we, we each got a sleeve, which was three balls each. If we lost one ball, you were kind of done playing with them. So you didn't lose them, but then we got a bunch more balls. So, so don't lose this. No, I have a bunch now. Oh, so we're okay, chilling. Good. I have a whole box at the house. All right, well, you guys know hole one. Very, very simple, straight up par four. A little bit of a dog leg right. There is a bunker straight on the right that is very reachable. I usually play a draw with my hybrid, so I'm hoping that I can kind of aim at the bunker and the crosswind will push it just a little bit left, put it in the fairway. The goal, obviously, you guys know, is trying to shoot even par or better so that I can continue to play. Oh, great, first swing. I can track that. Oh, that one hurt. That one, that one hurts. This happens you don't warm up. Oh, that one hurts deep. We can still make par from there. I thought that was embarrassing, but. <laughs> hey, hey. All right. Well, luckily they can still hear me. Look at the apple sauce. All right. Again, this is why Matt warms up. That's perfect. All right, we're back, yeah, baby. I don't know where that is. That was actually a beat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was a beautiful shot, by the way. That was literally one of the most pure five irons I've ever hit, so that's good. 94 yards, this is where I gotta be good, man. Obviously, I'm kind of in, I'm not too mad at where I'm at right now. It's the first swing of the day with my hybrid, I topped it. I'm honestly not too mad about that. Really? Um, no. That was the most embarrassing thing I've been it was, it was more embarrassing because there was a bunch of old guys watching me and they were probably like, oh, geez, we got to play in front of this goob. Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> but then I hit a five iron, just freaking striped a money shot right in the middle of the fairway. And now I'm looking at a really, really solid chance to potentially get up and down for par. These are the shots, regardless of what I'm at, that need to be really good. This is where I lose a lot of strokes. Great putt. I got to get it. My goal on these shots is to be at least 10 feet, right? That's gotta be pretty doable. I would say just dunk it in, you know? Yeah, well. It's not quite That's 10 feet. It's not 10 feet. Should I hit another one? No. For my two ball thing to see if I could do better? What? Well, cause two I kind of talked about it in the... Don't do that, that's stupid. Just play normally. No, no, I'm still playing that one. I just want to see if I can fix my mistake. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well the mistake is just aim better. That's way worse. Thanks honey, you're a great help. <laughs> My second shot technically was a little bit better. It's actually pin high. Oh wait, no, that's not bad at all, Matt. That's about 15, 16 feet. That's what I said. Why is he not listening to me? Well, I thought it was way shorter than that, than my original projections. Just because you're short doesn't mean everything else is short. Man, I gotta say, guys, I got a real winner here with me today. <laughs> Wake me up at eight in the morning, you're not gonna get the best version of me. That's a fair Just point. Kidding. Six. This is why I hit 54, it did not overspin. All right, this would be a huge <laughs> one to make. I do not want to start with a bogey. Honey? Oh, I had it too. Oh, yeah. I had it too. Wow, that was that really stopped though. Yeah, these they're a little grainy. Greens are just a little grainy. Hey, that's all right, Maddie. That's all right. Okay. That's Bogey. one over. Luckily, we have a par five coming up. Actually, we have two par fives technically because hole six is also a par five. Hole six is also a par five, so I have two chances at making a potential birdie to get back to even and trying to finish out this nine. Finish. It's early for me. And also, I know eight o'clock is not early, but it's the Lord's Day. It's the day of rest. Hey, today is Tuesday. Make sure you guys subscribe also to the channel. I already told you that, but that'd be much appreciated. Um. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> All right. All right, hole number two, 545 yard, par five. Kind of tough to reach it in two, <clears throat> but it definitely starts with a really solid drive. Obviously, you guys know it's kind of a dog leg left. There's a bunker to the right. Yes, yeah, so this is called the par T shirt. Yeah, P A R T E E is how you spell it. Well, yeah. Instead of par T like P A R T Y. So I just thought it was lightsabers. All right, big old drive here on big old good one. Oh, 
Well, that's got to sit. That's fine. That was the worst. That was a really bad swing. Maybe you should just not, you know, use your driver today. Hey, I didn't top it. But you didn't do great, did ya? Well, no, it's my, technically my third swing of the day. I'm kidding. I went hybrid, five iron, driver. Okay. Not let's, my typical warm up. You know what? Let's cut to me on the tee box right now. Oh my gosh, I was like, you, oh, my arms just popped. How do you guys warm up? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Honey, not bad. Uh, not bad. Fairway. What are you gonna, Manny, don't, don't. So here's the news. It's pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> but this is where I need to be smart. I'm just gonna take my medicine, take a five iron, chip it out there to the left, get myself a good shot in for my third shot. Well, that's really good. Oh yeah. Oh, it just went down that hill. That's good there, honey. That's where I need to be smart. And that's where I was smart. So that's, that makes me pretty happy right there. I mean, of course in a scramble situation, I'm gonna be able to hit like a, maybe a high cut hybrid or do something crazy to get it there. But in this case, be smart, hit a good shot, try to get up and down from there. Okay, 128 yards to the pin, playing one up a little bit to 132. Again, I know where kind of this pin location is. Remember honey, it's kind of like that weird sloping pin. Yeah. So if anything, I kind of want to be just a little short of this pin and it should funnel all the way down to the hole. Oh, that's got to sit. Okay, that was great though. I gotta be honest, I compressed it really, really well, hit it really solid. I think I'm putting for birdie. This is where I thought the pin was gonna be. <laughs> Luckily, it's up here. Again, these greens, they aerated them about a month ago, so they're still a little bit bumpy. No! Dude, that is so weird. That was like the perfect line and it like It was in the away. center of the cup all the way there. That was a beautiful putt. From like right here, it was in the center of the cup. And then just said... It was just that last <sighs> second where it decided to do something else. On a, wow, I almost missed that. On a list of putts that I want back, that would be one of them. All right, one over par. Uh, plenty of birdies out there still on this golf course. I still have hole six if I unfortunately par the rest of them where I can get back to even par and continue to play. So come on, Matt. Let's eliminate, eliminate some mistakes and make some birdies. Hole number three, everybody. It's a very short par four. The driver, not necessarily the play, but it is a little into the wind. So. I just gotta try to avoid these bunkers on the left. Let's put a good drive out there. That is why. Fairway ball. Not gonna lie, that was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, honey. That was actually very nice. It was, it was a wind cheater. Obviously, I'm not up to my full speed yet. So I think I may have hit that like 260 yards, but that a fairway hit. finder is a fairway finder in my eyes. Well, that hit center of my club face and it made me feel some type of way. I don't know, I can't really explain it. Not the world's greatest drive for me, but I have 110 yards to the pin and it's a very, very accessible pin. It's a little into the wind, so I'm thinking I need to hit my 50 degree. Play this smart. Sit. Sit a little bit, sit a little bit. Yes. So glad I hit 50, folks. 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 That's good. I'm glad. Okay. That's good. I got a birdie putt. Fantastic shot. I don't normally, I don't normally say that with my shots, but this was a phenomenal golf shot. Oh my, that's. It's okay. It's a par. That stayed the straightest. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Cause that was a dead straight putt. I definitely could have made that. This is the hardest hole that, that I have to face. I'm still one over par. Unfortunate par on that last hole. I had a really, really great shot to make birdie. So. Can I say something real fast? 
Matt and I want to get a dog. Yeah, we do. What dog should we get? Psych, you don't get to choose. What? Just kidding. Shut up with that garbage. Do not go in that bunker, please. Crap balls. When have I hit a, a high draw off the freaking drive ever? Oh my gosh. On the first tee? I kind of like sat back on that one just a little bit, stood a little bit further away from the ball, and maybe that's the difference. I think you, this, is, this is fun, I think. A 200 yard bunker shot? Is that hard? Yeah. So here's the good news. I got a lesson from Brad when we were at Dalhousie about bunker shots and it's focus less on the lower body moving and just focus on the upper body moving and trying to trying to keep the lower body still. And it's kind of been working. So I'm gonna keep trying that until it starts failing me. The good thing is you're actually at a pretty good lie. Like you're not like on a hill. No, yeah, it hit right here, rolled up and came back down. So I'm in a, literally in the perfect spot of the bunker. I can hit six iron, the lip's not in the way. I just hit that rake. Oh my gosh. It just hit that rake. Not that it was gonna do me much better, but at least it would have been out of the bunker. What am I supposed to do with this, bro? Bunker to bunker. And here's the interesting part. It hit up there. So it would have hit a little further and carried up. I would have had a much better shot, but it hit the freaking bunker rake and somehow got me to this position. And it's a tough shot, folks. It's a really tough shot. I got barely no green to work with. Got to get it barely over the slip. And I need to make sure I get up and down for par because if not, I got to go birdie birdie to finish. It's been hard. I mean, that's really solid. Yeah, that was, that was a great out of bunker shot. All right, everybody. Does he have the clutch gene in him? <gasps> oh, it out of did, all the times it doesn't break. And it did move a little bit. It's just, I think, I think some of these bumps are causing it to yeah. just not move as much. I don't really Why know. Why is I, it so bumpy? I don't know. Well, it's because they aerated the greens about a month ago. Oh. Oh, Matt. Oh my, that went left at the end. Yeah, see, it's weird. <sighs> two over. All right, well, here we are, everybody. Two over through four holes, not good. Got a birdie birdie. Seems like a very typical start for me out here at Gentle Creek. The first four holes are, you know, they're, they're pretty tough. I'll be honest, they're kind of tough, you know, if you don't put them in the right spots, so. Sorry. That's disgusting. It's an intrusive thought. Um, but here we are, coming up on some of the more easier holes, I think. This par three, very, very straightforward. It's also a front pin, which makes it a lot easier. It's 163. Gotta try to put this one on the green, give myself a birdie look. Oh, honey, zoom in on that, please. Never mind, I was kidding. Oh, that was, that was in the good. heart of it. It's just right off the green. It's good. That was literally in the center of the cup. Kind of mapped it out a little bit. It's on a little bit of a ridge, which is actually interesting because if I miss it short, it's actually going to slope hard right. But if I carry the ridge, it's actually going to be pushing and breaking a little bit to the left. So I'm electing to chip it only because these greens are a little bumpy. So hopefully take out some of that bump. See that? Ah, I pushed it right. Didn't land it far enough. Well, instinctively, I want this to break right to left. You have really good quads. Thanks. The last few holes, though, have been interesting. And, of course, that one breaks right to left hard, too. Dude, these greens are weird. Well, that eliminates my chance to make an eagle on the next one. I guess we'll play that hole for fun. You just got to make a hole in one. You got it. If anyone can make a hole in one, I'm putting my odds on you. Well, I can't do it on a par five, but I can maybe make an albatross. Oh, crap, man. This has been a bad round so far. Just made some uh, canonical errors. I mean, well, the putting, it's not really, I would say it's my fault. I've been hitting great putts. They just haven't really been going where I've been wanting them to. So 
that's all right. Gentle Creek, they're getting close, I'll tell you that. They aerated them, like I said, about a month ago, and they're getting so close to being absolutely perfect right now. So I can't wait for that. Um, let's try to make Eagle on the next, though. This is a big hole for me. I'm obviously out of contention to keep playing my nine holes, but I can't just be thinking that I got to lay off and just do whatever. I still got to play this hole really, really well. <clears throat> I always land in the left bunker, so I'm going to try to hopefully avoid that. I'm actually going to try to play a draw here like I did on that last one. Nice, high, tight draw. Hopefully put myself in the fairway and give myself a good chance to get after this one in two. Well, I didn't draw. Did that hurt? Nope, fairway. Man, I was trying to play that draw. I didn't draw at all. I think I'm in the fairway. I think I'm gonna have a long ways in and kind of hit it off the low heel. Come on, Matt. Yes. Watch it get out of the bunker. Yep, over the bunker, perfect. So in order to keep this video going, you gotta dunk it. Gotta make it. Gotta make it right now. I gotta be that dude, honey. Be that guy. It usually happens when you're not thinking about it. Yeah, I'm literally not trying to make this. <laughs> so if this goes in, it goes in. I'm not trying to make it at all. So 288 yards. I am trying to get this on the green though. Give myself an eagle chance. Or at least end the day strong with a birdie. That's the goal. Little right. And the bunker. I kind of want to hit another one for fun. Oh, I did it again. That one will definitely be in the bunker. Okay, all right. I'm happy with that first one. Well, I had a much better contact than my second one there. Maybe I got lucky and got out. Well, think about this, ladies and gentlemen. It stayed up out of the bunker, which wouldn't have made much much of a difference. I would have had a great bunker shot. But this this looks pretty solid. It looks very, very makeable. I got a 62. I'm going to try to play it higher. Land it a little softer. Really solid shot. I hit it about 280 yards. So I cannot be too upset about that. Oh, that's actually spun a little bit out of that lie. Good. Not too shabby. Maddie also has a birdie putt. Anyway, Maddie just bogeyed, which is kind of crazy to watch. I now have a great chance to make my first birdie of the day. I am going to line it up. This would be a big, a big little win for me. You know, you got to celebrate those small wins. Hopefully we can watch this thing drop in together. Or you can leave it short, Matt, you sucky golfer. I cannot, I cannot leave a birdie putt like that short, man. That's that's incredibly sad. How's your back feeling? It actually feels pretty solid. Um, I got another doctor's appointment on Wednesday. Today's Tuesday, so it'll be tomorrow. Um, and then we're gonna kind of go over some some of the procedure stuff for the RFA. So Wait, when's your doctor's appointment? Tomorrow. How do you not know? Thank you guys for watching. Um, kind of a tough round for me, unfortunately. Shot two over three over par. Uh, Obviously I got a lot of work to do. You know, I'm, I'm obviously I'm working through some of my back stuff, which we'll figure out. And I, again, I got that appointment tomorrow and then I got a potential procedure on the 22nd. So all that stuff's coming in, in the, in the bank at some point. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video though. Played with the new Callaway, uh, Chrome Soft X, good, good triple track ball. Uh, we also have the other ones that have the little good, good micro logoed, um, hexagons all over the ball too, which is really, really cool. So I'm really, really excited for these to drop for you guys. Hopefully you guys, um, have checked out some of that new summer apparel and the women's apparel is coming very very soon yeah yeah so yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy all well i guess it's not done yet but all of the good good cup content that's coming out right now from dalhousie a lot a lot of fun love you guys thank you please subscribe we're on the road to 300,000 subscribers getting really really close and hopefully i'm going to try to do two breakthrough series a week who does two like that <laughs> two breakthrough series a week <laughs> watching spider-man right now so that's why i'm doing that um so hopefully we're going to get that going. Me and Colin will potentially get our matches going again. He is really, really busy, unfortunately. So we've missed the last, I think, three, four weeks. Uh, so we're going to try to get him back on schedule as well if he has some time. Love you guys. Thank you, Maddie, for filming. That's going to wrap it up. Love you guys. Peace.